Is marketing altruistic? Well, Seth Godin seems to think so, or at least that's the overriding theme in his book, This Is Marketing. And as meeting planners and partners, we are marketing every single day. So how do we apply these altruistic principles to our messages? We're going to learn a little bit about that today. Stick around. It's Leanne, and whether you're a meeting planner or a meeting partner, chances are you are doing marketing every single day of your job. For meeting planners, you're trying to sell your conference to your delegates, as well as attract exhibitors and sponsors to your event. Meeting partners, you're trying to get the attention of meeting planners and sell them your goods and services so they can utilize them in their meetings and conferences. While some of you are very gifted at marketing, very few of us in the meetings industry have marketing backgrounds or marketing degrees or diplomas. Luckily for the rest of us, there are some great resources out there to help us with our marketing, including quite a few titles from one of my favorite authors, Seth Godin. Seth published This Is Marketing in early 2019, and it quickly became a bestseller. In fact, I've agreed to moderate the LinkedIn Group's Event Profs Book Club on September 4th, where we look at this very title. And if you would like to be added to that Event Profs Book Club call on September 4th, simply comment on the video below here or tag Jillian Cardinal, who's also tagged in this post, and she will ensure that you are added to the call. Regardless if you're able to make the call, there are a few things that Seth has taught me in the book that I can share with you today, and hopefully you can put this towards your own marketing messages. Here's what I feel Seth is asking us to do when it comes to our marketing messages. He wants us to create messages that tell stories, serve people, and create attention for those who might not be part of the story yet, and they want to be part of the story. So for today, and in preparation for our September 4th book club call, I want you to consider three questions when it comes to your marketing messages. Question number one, who are you selling to? And this is where I want you to drill down really deep and define your niche audience and their demographics. Question number two, what is that audience's pain points and what are their dreams? Now this one might be a bit more difficult to answer, so I encourage you to lean on a trusted customer or client and you can ask them what their pain points were and what their dreams were prior to interacting with you. And then of course, question number three, how am I serving to solve their pain points and to help them achieve their dreams? Again, if you need to lean on your trusted client for some answers to this question, please do so. Now, while this exercise may seem simple in nature, it isn't. I need you to take some time to really look at the answers for those three questions and then start to weigh those answers against some of the marketing messages and some of the selling campaigns that you've been using. Ensure that the marketing messages you're putting out aligns with the answers to those three questions. And if you have a good handle on the answers to those questions, I want you to comment on this uh, video below and share it with the community. I look forward to connecting with some of you soon on our Event Props Book Club call on September 4th. Thanks for watching this week's video and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.